Welcome to this Project Solve user training module. The goal of this training is to provide an overview of the application and to increase understanding of the requirements associated with its use. FDOT Standard Specification 4-1 requires contractors to conduct all written communication associated with the contract using a paperless electronic means and to submit any documentation using a web-based collaboration. Project Solve, or PSSP for short, is the department's chosen web-based solution. Contract sites on PSSP are temporary and will be taken down after the final offer letter is sent and confirmation of document transfer is confirmed by the project staff. The final and permanent storage location for project documentation will continue to be the Electronic Document Management System or EDMS. Contract sites house plan sets and specifications, which are uploaded at the time of the site launch. Contract specific pre filled construction form templates are also available on the site. You will access Project Solve using the launch page link shown here. Internet Explorer is the recommended browser for optimal compatibility. The launch page URL can easily be bookmarked in Internet Explorer by pressing Ctrl D. We've also included the link to the eConstruction site. Please note that while the eConstruction Project Solve information page contains an account creation page link, this link will only create a user account. It will not provide access to any of the contract sites. User access to Project Solve is requested by the project administrator using the Project Roles Worksheet. Additional users who need access after this point should contact the project administrator. Once the contract site is launched, the users identified in the Project Roles Worksheet will receive an automated email notification announcing the site's availability for use. This email will also contain some basic instructions to get you started. Since PSSP is hosted remotely by an outside vendor, place PBSVC backslash in front of the username to specify the correct domain. Otherwise, your computer will assume your local domain and this will not work. Passwords are good for 90 days and users will begin to receive email notifications to update their password 14 days before expiration. Once you have signed in, you will be directed to the PSSP homepage. Notice the help link on the top left hand side of the page. Clicking this link will provide assistance with resetting your password, finding contact information for the PSSP administrator, as well as other useful links. You can verify your contact information by clicking on the My Settings link in the drop down menu at the top right hand side of the page. To update this information, please contact your PSSP administrator. This menu also provides a link to change your password. You must change your password every 90 days. An automated email reminder will be sent to you two weeks before your current password expires. In the middle of the page are the district groupings. Click on the plus sign next to your district to see the contract pages. Click on the appropriate contract number to access your site. This is an example of a contract homepage. We have removed any references to the specific project for this example. You will navigate the site using the links provided on the left side of the page. The fax link and GIS link provide access to additional financial and mapping information. Access to the documents libraries are defined by the user's role. All users can access project documents using this link. You can also upload project photographs, which will display as a slideshow on the home page using the project photographs link. Please note that photos on this site are not retained once the site is taken down. Prefilled construction form templates, as well as plan sets and specifications, are also available. Users can turn on or turn off email notifications related to the site by clicking in the Nintex workflow link on the drop down menu. Note that the task delegation link is not currently active. The pages section of this menu 
is for administrative use only. To download a document from Project Solve, first select the document you wish to download. Once selected, a check mark will appear next to the name of the document and a menu will appear at the top of the page. Select Download a Copy to download the file onto your computer. Note that you can view the document by clicking on the name link. However, if you are working with a template or if you need to add signatures or make changes to the existing document, you must first download the document. Once you have made the changes, you will upload the revised document back onto the site. To download a copy of the file, first click Save As. A window will appear that will allow you to rename the document and to choose the folder where the document will be saved. Once you have renamed the file and chosen your desired destination, simply click Save. Now we will go over uploading documents to the Project Solve contract site. You have three different methods you can choose to upload your documents. The first method is by email. On the contract homepage, you can find the appropriate email addresses listed under project announcements. In this example, the contract name has been blocked. An advantage to emailing documents is that no system login is required. However, anyone sending documents to PSSP should be a designated user for audit purposes. Remember that the site only retains the attachments from the email and not the email itself. A disadvantage of email is that you cannot overwrite or replace existing files with the same name. If you are trying to re-upload an existing document, you will need to use one of the other two methods. The second method is to drag and drop a file into the site. When you are dragging a file and hover over an active upload zone, the box shown here will appear. Make sure that you are in that box before dropping the file. The third and most conventional way to upload a file is to use the New Document link. When you click on that link, a box will open that will allow you to browse for the document on your computer. Select the file and then hit OK to upload. Note the check mark that determines if the document you are uploading will overwrite an existing document with the same name. An advantage to using the upload link method is the ability to attribute the documents and upload them to EDMS in one process. The attribution window shown here will appear after selecting your document. You can also attribute documents that were previously uploaded to the document library. Simply click the edit symbol to the left of the document name. This procedure is used when the document has not already been attributed during the original upload process using the upload link. Note that the project staff who are attributing documents and sending them to EDMS should be familiar with the attribution standards. When you click the edit button, this EDMS box will appear. Please note that the subject description box and the document description box, both highlighted here, must be completed prior to sending to EDMS. The document will not be accepted into EDMS if the information is missing. When choosing the document description, you can filter the choices that will appear using the first three boxes in the EDMS section. Only users with a designated role of CEI Project Staff Elevated can send documents to EDMS. Once all of the boxes have been properly completed, you are ready to send the document to EDMS. If you do not want to send the document, you can select Not Applicable. Select Review to mark the document as ready for review by another contract staff member before sending. You can check whether a document has been sent to EDMS by checking the EDMS status column. After a document has been sent, the status column will show sending, pending, and then finally sent. It's important to remember that the transfer process typically takes anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours, but it can take longer. If your document has not transferred successfully by the following morning, please contact your PSSP administrator. To follow up on the EDMS transfer status, click the EDMS View link. This link is visible in Project Documents 
and internal documents. You can filter results using the filter tool in the EDMS status column. Users have the option to manually set up notifications in each document library in Project Solve. The automatic workflow notification feature is currently inactive. Some project administrators have opted to have the contractor copy them on email updates to the site. While this solution works, it does limit the size of the document that can be uploaded. Setting up notifications manually and having contractors upload files using the upload link method will ensure that all files can be successfully loaded. To manually set up a notification, open the library for which you want to create a notification. Click the Library tab. If the tabs are not visible, select a document in the list. Click the caret under the Alert Me button and select Set Alert on this library. Set options on the following window and click OK. You will receive an email at the address in your user profile. The alert can later be removed or modified by selecting Manage My Alerts. For more information about Project Solve, visit the eConstruction Project Solve site or contact your PSSP administrator. Thank you for watching this training module on Project Solve.